Welcome to month five of Cheshire Quilters Guild 2018 Block of the Month. This month we have two blocks. They are Block 8 Missouri Star and Block 9 Aurora Star. This is a video for Block 8 Missouri Star, so look for the video for the Block 9 Aurora Star. The first thing we're going to do is make some half square triangles. So I need to draw some lines. This is all explained in the instructions for block three, which is from February. And then I'm going to take this over to my sewing machine and stitch, separate, press. I'm going to press to my darker fabric and I'll meet you back here so we can I'll demonstrate again how we trim them up. First let me uh, correct what I said I, earlier. I said press to the dark but the instructions in block three they want us we want to press that open and uh, make it easier from here on out. There's two ways to trim it up and I've demonstrated these before. We want four inch units. So if we trim with our tucker trimmer, we're going to put the sizing diagonal along the seam. And then we can very easily trim two sides at a time to get us the proper size unit. The other way to do the trimming is using a regular ruler. And in that case, you want to use a corner that's got a 45 degree line. Uh, Make sure that the four four inches is on in every direction. It'll be easier if I use this other side. Sorry. So the four inches are on, and there's some space showing. And I'm going to line up. In this case, it's the white diagonal right along the seam line. And again, I can trim two sides. Rotate the unit and trim the other two sides. Okay, now I'm going to be, these two sides are on the four inch line, and there we go. So I'll finish trimming these up, and I'll meet you back here so we can see what we need to do next. Next up is to make some flying geese with using our half square triangles as the small squares. We're going to use the same procedure as for block five from March, um, page six. But in this case, because we're using the half square triangles, you need to make sure you orient them correctly with, this, with your fabric A to the inside and E to the outside. This is fabric B underneath. And then for this part, I prefer to use my... Um, Quilter's Magic Wand to, to draw the lines. And these will be my stitching lines. So I'm drawing the lines a quarter of inch on either side of the diagonal through the corners. Well, I can kind of see them, but not completely. I need to draw a little darker. So let me just go over this again. On both sides make sure I can see what I'm the so these are the sew lines so I'm going to sew on those two lines and I'll meet you back here for the next step just to remind you how this is done okay now we're just going to slice this down the middle between the two lines of stitching I'm going to take these over and I'm going to press these away from the uh, fabric B large square and I'll be right back. Okay, so we end up with two pieces that look like this. And if you remember from when we made flying geese before, we're going to do the same thing again by placing a square on the what's left of the large square. And Again, draw lines so that we can sew two seams here, and that's going to give us two of the flying geese that we need. And then with the other piece, we'll make the other two. 
So I'll meet you back here when I have those pressed out and we'll trim them up. There you see with it stitched in it and then as we cut them apart just like it be before. And now here's going to be two geese and I'll come back when everything's pressed. Okay, first I'm going to show you how to trim using your wing clipper. Wing clipper, it's a th we want a three, six and a half by three and a half. We're going to put the V in the V of our goose. Trim two sides. Rotate the unit. Now we can line up on the two trim sides on the six and a half and three and a half inch lines. And you'll see these actually, other, there's other lines that will line up on our seams in our wings, in our sky. And there we have it. There's uh, one method. The other method using a traditional ruler We're going to, again, we want three and a half by six and a half. So I'm going to put the three and one quarter by one quarter mark at the top of my goose. And I'm going to three and a quarter by a quarter at the top of my goose. That looks good there. And then we're going to come down to th six and a half by three and a half at the bottom. So I'll cut two sides. Rotate the unit. Now I should be on the six and a half, six and a half by three and a half inch sides. And you'll see the 45 comes right down that side of the goose. And that looks really nice and trim it up. So I'm going to trim up the other two and then I'll meet you back here for the next step. Next up is to make a square and a square unit um, where we're going to take our fabric A square and we're going to put fabric C triangles on it. You're going to do it the first two and then the other two. Um, the easiest way to do this is to position the triangle on the bottom face up with the square face down so the right sides together make sure your edges are even and you've got about the same amount of fabric peeking out on either side now you can sew your quarter inch seam so on the opposite triangle um, and then we're going to press the triangles away I'll come back when I've got that done okay there we have two sewn on if you want you may it's not required you may trim off the little dog ears that stick out they don't hurt anything if you leave them but it might make it easier for you to position the other two triangles on just nip them off and we're going to do it the same way with the triangle on the bottom and this is the way I put it through the sewing machine it, it's uh, I, I have much better success when I sew the square in a square if I have the triangle on the bottom there, I've got it evened up, about the same on both sides, my top edge even. And I'm going to sew my quarter inch seam. I'm going to put both of those on, do the pressing, and I'll meet you back here to see how we trim it up. Now it's time to trim up our square squared, our, our square in a square. You can use your square squared tool for a six inch finish, so it's going to be six and a half inches on a side. And you can use that to trim up. All four sides or if you're using a regular ruler the again it's six and a half inches um, since I've already trimmed two it makes it easier for me to lay it on here but the your points on your inside square are all going to be three and a quarter inches from the edges and a quarter of an inch inside. So a quarter of an inch at um, three and a quarter. So this line right here is three and a quarter. 
and this one's in a quarter of an inch, that one's in a quarter of an inch. Here's my three and a quarter inch line, and this point's in a quarter of an inch, and that one's in a quarter of an inch. So that's what we need to do to trim up our square squared. Okay, here I've laid out the Missouri Star, it's our block eight. Um, I've got my squares in around the outside with my geese against my uh, square and a square. So I'm going to put it together into three rows. I'm going to press the seams uh, open as I stitch these. And then I can stitch my uh, rows together and press those seams op open also. So I'll meet you back here when I have my block finished. And there you have it. Missouri Star Block 8 of Cheshire Quilters Guild 2018 Block of the Month. This is the first block for May, so look for the other video for Block 9 Aurora Star. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.